Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, news uh, regarding uh, planned clinical trials for gene therapy for a couple different forms of limb girdle muscular dystrophy. Um, the first uh, has to do with an announcement by uh, the company uh, Atomayo, which is a French company, which is a spin-off from uh, Genethon, which is a uh, laboratory that has done a lot of uh, development of gene therapies. And the company put out a press release late uh, last month, uh, which says, um, gives a few different uh, news items. Uh, one is that their planned uh, clinical trial in LGMD2I slash R9 gene therapy, which is slated to begin uh, towards the end of 2022, um, has its second trial site approved. Uh, the plan is to have one site in the UK, one site in Denmark, uh, one site in France. Uh, the trial site in the UK had already been approved by the national regulatory body um, and now that has happened in the Denmark site as well. Um, the uh, site in France is um, still under process of um, the application for approval. Uh, also the company uh, announced that they had received uh, funding through a program um, run by the French government. Uh, that's important. Drug development costs money, so that's good that they have more funding. The other announcement that they made was that developmental uh, 2i R9 gene therapy has received orphan drug designation uh, both in the US and Europe. Um, orphan drug designation, let me explain what that means. Um, that just means that uh, someone is developing a drug for a rare disease that currently doesn't have a good treatment. So really that would apply to uh, any drug being developed for any subtype of LGMD. That doesn't mean it's approved. That doesn't mean, you know, that, um, you know, it doesn't make that much difference in the short run. What it does mean is that the regulatory agencies are generally willing to offer some more uh, assistance to the company in going through the uh, drug development and clinical trial process, and uh, you get certain rights once it is approved. Um, but anyway, so that's the announcement from Atomayo. Now, uh, Sarepta also released a, uh, what they call a letter to the community, that is the LGMD community, where they gave updates on um, their gene therapy programs for, um, they're working in, let's see, I think um, six different subtypes of LGMD, 2A, B, C, D, E, and L. And the most significant thing about that is that they uh, made an announcement uh, that they're intending to start a clinical trial in LGMD 2B or R2, which is actually the form that I have. Uh, and uh, they forecast that it will begin uh, later this year. So I'm going to go through exactly um, what they're saying and uh, what that means. So I'll just read from uh, the statements that uh, Sarepta made uh, first in their community letter, which was uh, posted on their website. Uh, we plan to initiate a proof of concept study uh, in um, LGMD 2B or R2 um, aka dysferlinopathy in late 2022 while co conducting additional manufacturing efforts in tandem. Um, a little bit about the manufacturing, uh, that's um, 
a big deal in uh, gene therapies. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of discussions with regulators uh, to um, get the manufacturing process uh, finalized. But the, the the big announcement is, you know, as a say a proof of concept study, uh, which would begin uh, uh, towards the end of this year. Now, um, in March 1st, uh, Sarepta gave their uh, quarterly conference call to stock analysts, and they didn't actually uh, include um, information about their LGMD programs in their presentation. Uh, however, they were asked about it by uh, one of the analysts, actually a, a, a couple different questions on different aspects. So um, the CEO of Sarepta says, oh, we're doing a, pro well, he describes it here as a, a pilot program, which basically means the same thing as a proof of concept study. Uh, because dysferlinopathy is a little bit different than the other programs, including the sarcoglycans. It's a dual vector approach. Um, uh, what that means is that uh, the gene is too big to fit in a single AAV, so you need to divide it into two pieces, hence dual vector. Uh, so that it has a d that different technical aspect to it, and we want to do a pilot program and see its effect before we move into a clinical trial. So I misspoke just now. I said a clinical trial. What I meant to say was a pivotal trial. And what a pivotal trial, uh, which can also be referred to as a registration trial, means the clinical trial that is intended, if everything goes well, to lead to the therapy's approval. So that would be usually a trial uh, that, you know, depending on the situation, might be blinded and have a placebo arm and also uh, have a larger number of patients so that you could have enough statistical power to demonstrate not only that the treatment is safe, but that it also um, is, can be statistically shown to be effective so that the regulatory agency will uh, approve the treatment. So that's uh, all the information that uh, Sarepta has given about their plans for the 2B uh, clinical trial thus far. Hopefully, um, before too long, we will hear some more details about the uh, 2B clinical trial. Now, Sarepta also um, mentioned that they are going to be giving some updates in their uh, LGMD2E and DMD clinical trials at the Muscular Dystrophy Association uh, Scientific and uh, Clinical Conference, uh, which is happening um, in mid-March. Uh, so um, once uh, that data is presented, um, then um, I'll have some more things to talk about and um, I'll uh, be you know, giving an update on the latest um, release of data on those.